Results from Rally Study. Points have please check. Quark had nothing to do with it. I earned the vote. <laughs> Couldn't I ask you the same thing? I don't really think this is the time for a fight, though. Look, Clover's over by the door. <laughs> The number nine door. Fuck, she opened it. Ugh! Why? Clover, wait! <laughs> I'm going to call the others. I'll get justice for Alice. <laughs> The number it will... Time for me to go. No! Please, Clover, wait! Like hell, I'm just gonna let you walk out of here. Goodbye. The number this is thank you as the gate escape, please. It This is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. They had to raise it all if you break the My brother told me about that. Neostigmine is a type of cholinesterase inhibitor. That means it's sort of an antidote for tubocurine. I knew it! Give it back. I found it so it's mine. The antidote. Sigma, where are you going? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
One minute remains until chromatic doors close. Three, two, one. Chromatic doors closing. Oh dear. Sigma. Sigma, what the hell did you... Why did you pick me? Then... Why didn't you inject yourself? You're the biggest idiot on the planet. No. Screw this. I don't want to live if it means being in debt to you. No goddamn way. I'm not...
You could open up the suit and take the mask off. Yes. No, it was empty when I found it.
made a promise that you would hear it. Do you understand? This is very important. You must pay attention. You cannot forget. If you see a lion with two heads devouring the sun, remember, remember these letters.
What's wrong? What? How did you figure out the login? What the hell do you mean you just knew it? Why are you bringing that up? It doesn't have anything to do with this. What? I don't... Sure. Fine. Just let me get right on that. Are you out of your damn mind? Tell me what the hell is going on here. Why do you know how to log into this computer? Fine. You still don't make any sense, but I don't think you're lying. And the A-B game deadline isn't getting any further away. All right. Let's see what this thing has for us. Where are we supposed to start? Looks like there's tons of stuff in here. Oh, can you tell me the ID that you put in? I can try searching for that. Maybe we'll get a hit. Looks like it. Don't ask me. You seem to know more about all this than I do. Fine, whatever. Just read the file. Maybe it'll make more sense. Let's see here. Yeah. There's something written underneath it. It says, Appearance after application of ABT. It is this special artificial biological tissue, what's called ABT. When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. Makes it look right human, it does. Even feels like real skin, with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in the middle. I see. Luna was a golem. And DML016 was her product ID.
Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how autonomous she really is, but I find it hard to believe she would have come here of her own free will. Probably. Look. At the bottom of the screen, it shows her current status. Probably. What if it was some kind of Voigt Kampf test? It's from an old book. A test to see how human she was, whether or not eight people would be able to figure out she was a robot. might almost explain the whole game, actually. Making us solve puzzles and play the A-B game. All of those things could have been designed to give us a chance to see her true nature. Yeah. Luna is the girl locked in the room. And the eight of us are the people outside it. Well, like I always say... All what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. Right now... I didn't know until I saw this stuff. I don't know why I said that. It just felt like it made sense. Yeah. Look, forget about that. See Luna's status? Robots die? She was only injected with muscle relaxant. Ten minutes remain until all players please if no... That might not be the only thing she did. Look. What are the last three digits of her product ID? And where have we seen that before?
We should go check her body. You remember where it is? Let's go. The game hasn't stopped. If we don't vote, we're going to get penalized. Luna's bracelet. Two minutes. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, Sigma. One minute remains until... She's probably planning on participating in the game. Yeah. Betray. I'm sure of it. Why else would she have come here? If she wanted to vote ally, she could have just waited for the deadline to pass. Yeah. Why are you asking, though? Her BP doesn't matter right now. Have you totally lost it? She doesn't have her bracelet on. And besides, she's a golem. She isn't trying to get out. Whether she has 9 BP or not doesn't mean anything to her. Isn't that obvious? She wants to keep our BP below 9. Say she defaulted to ally. We could choose whatever we wanted, and we'd still get 9 BP. She's here to make sure that doesn't happen. 10 seconds remain. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. And I... I trust him. 2, 1. Round 3 of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex Gates. That's odd. We came out the moment the gates opened. There's no way she could have left already.
doesn't make sense. Why would she show up just when we're about to vote? There was no reason for her to come here if she was just going to default. Results, please. Stop. Yeah. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Since Luna didn't vote, she got set to ally automatically. And the other six got... penalized. Five of them are dead already and Quark's bracelet is off. Yeah. I can only guess at her reasons, but I'm sure it was part of some plan. Who knows? So what do we do now? Whatever Luna's scheming, we still managed to get 9 BP. Do you want to leave? I agree. I hoped you'd say that. <laughs> of course. Let's get moving. This is the last room. Well, the last room we can get into. Yeah. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain no, that's not possible. The number nine door has closed. This ends. Thank you. As the game escape, please in. We should go back to the floor A warehouse. I need to know if the door actually opened or not. True, but the projection should tell us. So it would seem.
Well, well, well! Long time no zero! Remember your old pal Zero? I'm guessing somebody's hoping for an explanation about what the Biblio just happened. Because we're such great friends, I decided to make an exception and descend from on high to give you the 4 one mud. Aren't you, Oppie? Uh-huh. So what's this explanation you've got? Well, let's start with little Quark. He was given an animal's leg that put him to sleep. While he was out, Luna carried him through to the other side of the number nine door. <laughs> With Quark's bracelet, you silly bunny. It was still in the infirmary, remember? Luna just hopped over there and picked it up. So I was right. Quark had 9 BP when the second round ended. Yup! <laughs> yes, he did. But a penalty carrot take away your points. Just your life. The needles popped out and so on, but the points stayed the same. So Luna took Quark to the door. No, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Alright, I think my tape is through. <laughs> Not you. Well, good thing you guys don't have questions for me. That guy's a jerk. <laughs> you must be feeling pretty good if you're able to jump around like that. I mean, six people just died here. <laughs> That's just how you humans are, after all. So, as long as you make it, nothing else matters. Am I right? Don't screw with us! It's cool. It's cool. I know you gotta act tough. I mean, you chose Betray. <laughs> that means you don't trust Luna, right? Figures? She's a golem! She might even be a murderer. That's why you were planning to leave her here and bone out, wasn't it? You see, it's all about you. Haven't you thought about how sad you've made Luna? Well, looks like my time here's just about all used up. <laughs> No, I won't wait. I don't like waiting. I waited once, and some half-witted reptile got the better of me because of it. After that, I'm going to make sure to value my time. Tortoise and the hare. Alrighty then. I'll see you in the sea. Have a nice trader. The tortoise won because he kept going even when it looked hopeless. I think we should do the same. We've got plenty of time after all. We'll give the dead the closest thing to a funeral we can manage. And when that's done, we'll start looking. Even if I never leave this place, I'll figure out why we were here. I swear it.
Sigma, are you insane? Why the hell did you choose Ally? <laughs> That's odd. We came out the moment th there's no way she <laughs> Then she let the system vote ally for her? Results from round, please. Stop. Yeah, let's go have a. Points have been assigned. Please check. Yeah, that means all those penalties are meaningless. Why did Luna show up then? I mean, we've got our... Alright. What do you want to do, Sigma? Do you want to leave? You sure? Well, that's a relief. I was hoping you'd say that. Now let's get moving. We need to find Quark. Luna. Hmm. The Abbot Round for Starkey. Quark comes first. Let's go. Sigma, there's something I want to ask you. There are three doors here. You, Alice, and Luna went through the one on the right. That took you to the Gollum Bay, correct? See the lock? Yeah. There's only one person who could have opened it. 
All right, let's head in. I think they're treatment pods of some sort. One of them is lit up. The glass is all fogged up. I can't really see inside. Yeah. Ready? What's wrong? You're supposed to say, yeah, sure. <laughs> what the hell is this? You want to stay here? What if Luna kills you too? Think about it. Alice, Clover, Tenmyoji, the old woman, even Dio and Kay. There's a good chance Luna killed all of them. Why doesn't matter. Remember what we saw on Clover's thigh? And what's that the same number as? Where did we find the old woman's corpse? And if you're right, her brain is in the central computer core. That means she could have easily moved that crane, right? She could have used it any time she wanted. Exactly. She must have moved the AB room. Alice noticed it right away. At the very least, that would mean Luna had a reason to try and kill Alice. She could also have murdered Dio and Kay. Remember their star keys? Luna must have taken them, which puts her in the room with Dio and Kay. You understand, don't you? I admit none of this evidence is conclusive. But look at our options. You, me, Quark, and Luna. Who do you think is the most likely to be the murderer? Think this through, Sigma. Luna's a golem. That means she's a robot that's part of this facility, designed to do God knows what. If what you said about golems and the central computer is true, she's basically a puppet of Zero Juniors. There isn't really much of an argument to be made here. The only option is to leave her here and get out. Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics?
A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. Damn. Don't scare me like that. Okay, I'm going to open it. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's time we got out of here. Let's go. The number nine door has closed. This ends the thank you for as the game is over. Escape is not. Please enjoy your stay. Isn't this nice? This is the only place in this whole facility with anything green. I kind of feel silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel happy. I'm not sure what you meant just now, but are you talking about something that happened in another history? I know what you can do. Someone told me about it once. They said that you have the ability to transport your consciousness through time. <laughs> Sigma, 
Aren't you here to ask me something? Why I killed them, perhaps? Oh? Why do you think I didn't do it? I'd like to know your reasoning. Why do you think so? Is that your proof? That's why you think Dio killed her? Then why are you so sure? What? All right, fine. You caught me, I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Wait, when did that happen? Isn't that against the rules? Thank <laughs> you. 
Suicide. How can you be sure? Say she was infected with Radical Six. She could have been murdered before her symptoms even began to present themselves. As for Clover and Tenmyoji, I could easily have killed them. You don't have any proof that Clover's message was mirrored like you say, or even that it was supposed to refer to Dio. Even if it did, that's not conclusive evidence of his guilt. The same goes for Kay and Dio. I could have killed them both. I just... Why do you trust me so much? I'm a machine. I'm part of this place. How can you trust a machine? Heard of the three laws of robotics? A robot without the three Sigma.
You were right. I didn't kill them. How should I explain? Well, actually, you got most of it right. <laughs> First, yes, Theo did sneak into the facility. He used the large cargo elevator and came into the warehouse on floor A through the number 9 door. Since the game hadn't started yet, anyone could go through it. Yes, I guess you could say that. He did get in pretty easily. But that's because Zero Jr. lured him here. Dio wasn't a surprise. Both Zeros knew that he was going to come. In a way. Because his presence was an important part of Zero's project. I can't go into that right now. We'd be here forever. Right now, let's just focus on the murders, okay? Anyway. Dio found his way in. They made sure he didn't know that he was actually being let in. To make sure Zero's project failed, his first step was to pretend to be one of the players. As for how he did that, you had it pretty much right. The old woman was the first one out, and he killed her under the graffiti. He put a bracelet on after he wiped the blood off it with the handkerchief. Then he wrapped the knife up and hid it between the 5th and 6th AB rooms. Counting from the left in their original placement. Right. After that, he went back into the 5th AB room where Quark was sleeping. Then he just waited for Quark to wake up. Nothing. I couldn't do anything. My body had been turned off. Zero Jr. had powered me down. My body wasn't activated until after Dio went into the fifth room. I couldn't help her. All I could do was watch while she was murdered. Everything in this place is controlled by Zero Jr. I couldn't try and prevent Dio from getting in either. Yes, that's right. Zero Jr. moved the room, not me. It took me 10 minutes to get out of my AB room once I was turned back on. I ran over to check on her as soon as I did. Then I carried her back to the room I'd been in. Because I was ordered to. Luna, listen to me very carefully. As you already know, the final stage of the project begins in two hours. This will be the culmination of many years of hard work. We cannot afford failure. Yes. I understand. Then let's make sure. What is your mission? Enter the Nonary game as one of the participants and observe the actions of the other players. Ensure that they do what they are supposed to, and guide them down the correct paths. How many players will there be? Myself and seven others, ma'am. 
Will you be participating as well? Yes. Our plan dictates that I must. An individual by the name of Dio will be entering this facility presently. He has been led to believe he is doing so undetected. You've been briefed on him already, correct? Yes. He will murder the first person to leave one of the AB rooms and take their place. If a pair is the first out, he'll probably kill both of them. That's all the information I've been given on him, ma'am. Um, I... Is there a problem? With all due respect, ma'am, I would like to state that I don't feel right about this. We know someone is going to be killed, and we're just going to let it happen? I also have doubts about the use of Radical Six. Infecting all these people with such a horrible disease. That is none of your concern. Your only concern is to follow your orders. But... Luna. I am giving you an order. I am in command and you do as I say. You are programmed to do as I say. You know this. Good. Now, I have one final order. Another order, ma'am? Yes. When you leave the AB room, the person Dio has killed will still be there. I would like you to move them. Where? To the room you are about to enter. The sixth AB room. But, why? Not your concern. As a participant in the game, you must have as little knowledge of it as possible. That is why I have made sure you are unable to access any classified data. There are things you must not know. In order for this project to succeed, we need you to be as close to a clean slate as possible. There are some things you already know, which ideally you would not. Unfortunately, this is unavoidable, so you must refrain from divulging anything you know about the project to the other participants. You must never tell anyone what you know about Dio, or the body, or that you carried it to the 6th AB room. You will have to pretend you know nothing more than the rest of the participants. Is that an order? Yes. Do I make myself clear? Yes. After that, I went into the AB room as I'd been told to. As soon as I stepped inside... My body deactivated. But since my brain is in the main computer, I was still awake. So I still saw everything. While I waited, I used the security cameras to see what was going on in the rest of the facility. Yes, it was... hard. What I was seeing made no sense. Several of my higher level processes nearly failed. To think that she would be the first person to come out. I think she knew that Dio was going to kill her. When she'd said she had one final order for me, I didn't understand what she meant. Like a fool, I told her I didn't approve. When I had no idea what she was prepared to do. When she died, whatever I have that passes for a heart, Felt like it snapped in two. Yes.
She did, but she wasn't the only person I took orders from. Yes. Yes. We worked together to develop the project she mentioned. So I suppose, technically, my orders came from both of them. And they were both controlling Zero Junior, too. I told you before that Zero Junior moved the 6th AB room. Although that's strictly true, he didn't do it of his own free will. They ordered him to do it. He was following orders just like me. I don't know. I really don't. Maybe they did it so that people wouldn't suspect me. suspicious of me. Yes. Perhaps they wanted Alice to find the handkerchief and the knife. That would explain why they moved the room. Yes. I think so. the reasons were, Alice did notice that the room was moved, which meant that Clover also figured it out. And just like you said, Alice used the knife to... to take her life. Clover didn't realize that, though. Or perhaps she didn't want to. In any event, she decided that I must have killed Alice to keep her quiet. So she confronted me. It was right after the second round of the A-B game. Using Phi's timetable, that would be zero hours, zero minutes. Yes, that wasn't all I was listening to, though. I know everything that happened in the facility after my body collapsed. Yes, I was. I could see and hear everything. Anyway, we we're at zero hours, zero minutes. I was in the hallway on floor A when Clover found me and took me to room two in the crew quarters. We entered at about zero hours, one minute. She was very... forceful. I know you killed Alice. Tell me the truth and I'll let you live. Now fess up! I'm only gonna give you one chance. If you lie, or try to play dumb or something. I'll kill you right in front of her! I told her the truth, of course. I explained that I hadn't killed Alice. That she'd been infected with Radical Six, and it had caused her to kill herself. Clover was never going to believe that, though. We argued about it for nearly nine minutes. It wasn't just Alice she asked me about. She asked me about the murder of the old woman, and about the A-B room being moved. She wasn't very nice about it, but I couldn't answer any of her questions. Yes. Then, at about zero hours, ten minutes, she must have run out of patience. She stuck her hand in her pocket and started moving toward me. She backed me up against the wall, and pulled her hand out of her pocket. She was holding the injection gun. I tried to take it away from her. I even screamed for help. She refused to let go, of course. While we were fighting over it... You mean, 
because I'm a golem? One of my orders was always to act like I was one of the players. A human. Any human injected with that amount of tubocurarine would die. No. I collapsed because Zero Jr. turned off the power to my body again. He probably felt he had to. Maintaining the illusion that I was human was probably in his orders, too. So to make it look like I had died, he'd turned the power off. Whatever the case, it was an accident. I don't think Clover ever intended to actually kill me. She only took the injection gun to try and threaten me. When I collapsed, she looked terrified. She checked for my pulse and listened to see if I was breathing. She also shook my body and called out to me several times. If she'd meant to kill me, why do all that? After a few moments, she ran off to the infirmary to get the AED. Yes. Correct. Yes. She ran off toward the infirmary. On the way, she bumped into Dio. Yes. I guess she just saw him, really. They didn't talk. She just ran past. Yes. I imagine he was curious, of course. He probably wondered what she was doing. But he chose not to go after her. He had something else to do. He seemed pretty surprised to find my body. It didn't take him long to get over it, though. He'd gone there for two reasons. One was to get Alice's bracelet, which was a blue solo. Yeah, but he couldn't find it. Yes, but there was something else he wanted to do too. He was there to take the knife. Removing it was... gruesome. No, I don't think so. I think he didn't want anyone to see the engraving on the knife's blade. That's why he hid it so well after he killed the old woman. Do you remember what it said? There was a word engraved on the blade. Yes. It's the name of the organization he belongs to. I don't think so. Um, I don't really know. I'm afraid not. Yes. Um, I don't know about that. He's killed four people. I'm not really sure he's on anyone's side. May I continue?
Kay opening the cyan door and ran out. When he left, he was heading toward the infirmary. My guess is that he was going after Clover. He found her with the AED. She was probably planning to just ignore him and head back, but Dio didn't let her. Hey, wait. What are you planning to do with that thing? Thinking about trying to resuscitate Luna? And why would you want to do that? You were the one who killed her, weren't you? The fuck do you think you're doing? What the hell are you doing? None of your goddamn business. Stay out of this, you senile old shit. Like hell, you son of a bitch! Tasteless. What are you going to do then? How do you like to make a bet? A bet? You've got, oh, 20 some minutes until the primary white doors open. So I'd say you've got 25 minutes until they close, give or take. If somebody happens to come by here before the doors close, you might live. But if nobody finds you, well... We'll be penalized! Exactly. So, I suggest you start screaming for help... now. Unfortunately for you, just about all the rooms in this place are behind at least two nice thick doors. So unless they're pretty close, nobody's gonna hear you scream. Well, I'm off to the floor be warehouse, okay? Enjoy your last 25 minutes. Later. Twenty-five minutes passed and no one came. Of course, by then there were only three other people who could have come, apart from Dio. Yes, you were in the crew quarters at this point. 
Unfortunately for Clover and Miyoji, their time had come. Once the primary white door closed, both of their bracelets injected them with Soberil. Yes, almost immediately they started to feel sleepy. I think that's when Clover realized she was definitely going to die. That was when she decided to leave her message. Just as you said, she wrote on her left thigh with her right hand. Yes. As for what happened in the rec room, well, I guess I don't really need to tell you. Your theory was essentially correct. What you said was what happened. Yes. After they went through the white door, Dio and Kay found themselves in the director's office. When they were done there, they headed back to floor A to look for everyone else. They went to the crew quarters first, then to the infirmary. Of course, they found Clover and Tenmyoji's bodies there. Dio expected to find them, of course, but he pretended to be shocked. Anyway, Kay checked them over for anything useful. Right. That's everything that happened. Do you have any questions? Um... Tenmyoji had it. Then when Dio attacked him, it fell out of his pocket. I told him where it was. Do you remember when you were in the rec room with Fai and Tenmyoji? Right after then. When he left the rec room, he went toward the green door to look for Quark. I ran into him at the end of the hallway, where the three doors and the switch are. That was when I told him. Look, Tenmyoji. The center door is unlocked. He took off through it without another word. Yes. Right. It only took him a moment. As soon as he saw Quark, he ran to his pod and started crying. Yes, 
The display on the pod showed Quark's vital signs. It was obvious he was alive the moment he looked at it. Next to the pod was Quark's bracelet. That was how Tenmyoji got it. I took it off. Aluminum foil. Oh, you found it? Did you know that aluminum foil has electromagnetic shielding properties? Here's an exciting fact! Your heart creates anyway! Your fancy little bracelet! Yes, all you have to do is wrap it around your bracelet. Yes. Anyway, I used some aluminum foil to get Quark's bracelet off. Then I put it next to the pod. Oh, that's easy. I put him there. Remember when we were first looking for Quark? I found him unconscious near the entrance to the Golem Bay. No, I was not. I do not have the authority to operate any of this facility's machinery. That's right. Tell you what? To play the nonary game. That was part of the project. Because she was infected with Radical Six. Zero Senior and the old woman did that. It was a necessary evil. It had to happen for the project to succeed. Clover wouldn't have suspected me, and she wouldn't have accidentally... Uh, killed me. I wouldn't have collapsed, and Dio wouldn't have found my body. That would have meant the confrontation in the infirmary never took place. Yes. I guess, if you want to look at it that way. Because Dio killed the old woman. He was worried about getting caught, so he tried to kill Kay before he could find out the truth. Yes. Yes. 
so that he could pose as one of the participants. To disrupt the project. The same reason they did all of this. It was a necessary evil. The project couldn't be allowed to fail. feels nice. by muscle fiber. But after Clover gave me the tubal curarine... Does... Does it scare you? This is what I really look like. I'm a golem. Just a... A machine. A jumble of metal and plastic that pretends to be real. this whole time. Even though I look like... like this? Thank you. Thank you so much. I wish I could stay here forever. You feel so nice. But I think my time is up. I've done things I really shouldn't have. 
Do you remember what you asked me earlier? About if Zero Jr. had reactivated my body? Remember? The truth is... He didn't. I did. I went to the part of the core that controls Zero Jr. And I hacked it. Yes. That was the first thing. The second... Do you know what the second one was? If I had really wanted to, I could have saved Clover and Tenmyoji. Then Kay and Dio probably wouldn't have killed each other. That's not all. I could have stopped Alice from killing herself. And I could have even saved the old woman at the very beginning. In other words, I had the ability to disobey my orders. But I... I didn't. That's the second thing. I broke the first law. I was scared. I... I was afraid to die. Obviously, hacking the core and taking control of Zero Junior's systems is... very, very bad. Gollums who don't follow orders can become dangerous, so we're terminated if we disobey. You lose access to your body, of course. But everything that's stored in the core... your memories, your consciousness... Is deleted. Yes. Very soon now I'll be gone. Zero Junior is probably recovering himself right now. Once he's done, I doubt I'll be around much longer. I watched six people die and did nothing. I deserved this.